Hello, and welcome to my presentation on Jeanette H. Murray's Four Affordances Applied to the Social Media Website, Pinterest. Pinterest was created on January 1st, 2009, and is a social media and bookmarking website slash app. It is a space that helps others save and discover new ideas or information. I personally love Pinterest for inspiration in various aspects of my life, such as fashion, photography, and even interior design. I also use it to find new recipes, lifestyle tips, and it even helps with online shopping. To use Pinterest, first you create an account. It makes different boards. This is the user's folders to officially save pins under. Then, you discover new pins by either searching ideas in the search bar or following friends. Then, you save what you like to the different boards you've already created. Now, the four essential properties of digital environments. Like Jeanette H. Murray, I split up the four affordances into two categories, interactive and immersive. There are two properties that are interactive, procedural and participatory. These two tend to work off of each other. The procedural aspect of Pinterest is the algorithm that helps generate the website's content. An algorithm is a formulated program set up by technicians that control the website's operations. And pins is a term used on Pinterest for posts and content such as images, videos, GIFs, and especially links. Many pins are usually links that lead to business websites, informational articles, social media pages, and even blogs. Pinterest's algorithm, like most interactive websites such as YouTube, adjusts accordingly to the user's interaction with the pins. This brings in the participatory aspect of the two interactive affordances. Based on what the user types into the search bar, or which pins are saved to their boards, the algorithm will produce similar content in an attempt to appeal to the user. Pins can be saved to personal boards, or folders to help the user organize the content they want to save slash bookmark. This makes it easier for the user to find previously saved pins when they need it. Pinterest is customizable, to which the user chooses which pins to save under the boards that they created or designed themselves. You can see the algorithm has generated similar content to possibly add to my board. Based on this interaction of searching and saving pins, the algorithm then can get an understanding of what the user likes. Therefore, the user is required to interact with the website in order for the algorithm to generate content. Also, if a user is not satisfied with the pin produced by the algorithm, they have the ability to reprogram it by hiding the pin to prevent further production. One of the properties out of the four affordances that are immersive is spatial. The boards and pins develop different areas on the website that the user can travel to. By creating the boards, the user is creating files and folders to store the content slash pins in organized locations. The user can travel from one pin in under one board and move to a different pin under a different board. Or they have the ability to move pins in different locations, even after they're saved. Since each pin is generated by a specific link, within two clicks, the user is able to immediately see the source of the content, taking them to different websites outside of Pinterest. Encyclopedic. While Pinterest is now used as a creative inspiration tool, it is also heavily used as an informational source. Originally, Pinterest was created as a social media tool to develop information from articles and blogs to teach people how to do and create things such as projects, remodeling, recipes, and more. Now, Pinterest is extremely informative in various categories outside of just lifestyle tips. It is also an accessing tool to see content from various social media websites in one location. Receiving posts 
from Instagram, Bisco, YouTube, Tumblr, and even Facebook. Pinterest is also a productive place for businesses to advertise their products, website, or locations. And lastly, Pinterest is a social media website. Therefore, friends are able to communicate with each other different ideas, or they're even able to collaborate on boards. Here's an example of my friend Maddie and I. We both are collaborating on this board and have the ability to remove pins that we don't like or add pins, even though we live in different states. With these four affordances, Pinterest is a great website to receive consistent content that is specific for each individual's interest. And it is because of the customization and easy accessibility to store and receive new content. That is why Pinterest is one of my favorite websites slash apps. Thank you for watching my video and please feel free to follow me on Pinterest and I'll definitely follow you back. My username is HunterA98 and the link will be provided down below.